Hey everyone, today I want to present you the second part of the walk made on the Fun Beach. As I mentioned in the first part, Fun Beach can be found behind the Bubble Waffles, which is a candy shop in Mamaya North Constanza. From the start, I have to tell you that in today's video you will see my walk on this beach that starts Friday afternoon at around 3 pm and ends Sunday afternoon at around 4 pm. As you can see, Friday afternoon I found on the left side of the fun beach tourists sitting on some beds up to the fourth line. Short after that I started to cross the central alley of the beach and this way I reached the right side of the fun beach. This side is usually less populated during the week, but Friday afternoon before the weekend I found here much more tourists, girls, women, boys and men sitting on some beds up to the third line to relax, chat with others, but also to get an even tan on the body. I started walking in front of the main beach to film the first line of some beds and this way I found tourists sitting on some beds here, but also some beds covered by towels, because the perfect weather for spending time on the beach in that day invited the tourists who rented these some beds to take a refreshing bath in the healing waters of the Black Sea. Moving on, I found other tourists sitting on some beds to tan on the first, the second, and even in some areas on the third line. Here, I started to turn the camera slightly forward because I wanted to show you that Friday afternoon I finally found at the edge of the right side of the fun beach tourists sitting on some beds to relax, chat with others, but also to tan. Getting close to the end of the beach, I saw a few more tourists sitting on towels or blankets on the neighboring free beach. The next part of the footage takes place Sunday morning when I came back here to see if Fun Beach will finally be full of tourists. Sunday morning at around 10.30 am, being a sunny and hot day, I was back on this beach. Short after reaching the Fun Beach, I found a few tourists sitting on towels, blankets or personal sun beds on the neighboring free beach. However, on the main beach I found tourists sitting on sun beds only near the central alley of the beach. Sunday I decided to hold the camera at a 90 degree angle in relation to my direction of walk because I wanted this way to show you details up to the last line of some beds. While getting close to the central alley of the fun beach, the number of tourists sitting on some beds here grew and this way I found a large number of girls, women, boys and men sitting on some beds here up to the last line. Here I crossed the central alley of the beach and after that I reached the left side of the fun beach where I found Sunday morning a pretty large number of tourists sitting on some beds up to the fourth line. I resumed my walk in front of the main beach because I wanted to show you how crowded was this beach at that early hour and this way I found other tourists mainly families, sitting on some beds here to relax, chat with family members or friends, but also to get an even tan all over the body. Moving on, I found a few more tourists sitting on some beds on the first lines. While getting close to the end of the beach, I saw that on the neighboring free beach, tourists started to gather on towels, blankets or personal sun beds pretty close to the water. This way I found here tourists, girls, women, boys and men sitting on personal sun beds on the walking area. Reaching the end of the beach, I decided to return here a couple of hours later because I wanted to see if afternoon the main beach will finally be full of tourists. 
Sunday afternoon at around 4 p.m., I was back on this beach. Before reaching the main beach, I found a pretty large number of tourists sitting on towels, blankets, folding chairs or personal sunbeds on the neighboring free beach. After that, I reached the main beach, where I found afternoon a decent number of tourists sitting on sunbeds on the left side. I decided to get closer to the first line of sunbeds and this way I found here tourists, mainly women, sitting on sunbeds to ten. Moving on, I resumed my walk in front of the main beach because I wanted to reach the right side of the fun beach. To see how many tourists decided to rent sunbeds there Sunday afternoon because in the morning that part of the fun beach was occupied by tourists mainly near the central alley. While getting close to the central alley of the fun beach, I started to see tourists sitting on some beds here up to the last line. Afternoon, I continued to hold the camera at a 90 degree angle in relation to my direction of walk because I was sure that only this way you can see details up to the last line. Moving on, I got close to the central alley of the beach and after crossing it, I finally reached the right side of the fun beach. Sunday afternoon, I found a few tourists sitting on some beds close to the central alley of the beach. However, while getting close to the, to the edge of the main beach, I started to see more and more tourists sitting on some beds on this side of the fun beach, on the first, the second, the third, and in some areas even on the fourth line. Moving on, I found a few sun beds covered by towels, but also tourists, mainly women again, sitting on sun beds in full sun to relax, but also to get an even tan all over the body. After that, I resumed my walk in front of the main beach, and this way I found tourists sitting on sun beds up to the edge of the main beach. Moving on, I saw a few more tourists sitting on towels, blankets, folding chairs or personal sunbed near the water on the neighboring free beach. While getting close to the end of the main beach, I concluded that fun beach can get crowded mainly in the weekends, but only if the weather is perfect for spending time on the beach, but also in the water. Thank you for watching.